Greetings friends, in this lesson I will be teaching how to simulate circuits using mesh analysis method. This lesson is not teaching mesh analysis in details. I am recommending Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Charles Alexander and Matthew Sadukni if you want to know more or learn mesh analysis in details. It is also assumed that you know how to simulate circuits using Protoss. So I will use this circuit for the explanation. For those of you who already know how to analyze mesh analysis mathematically, you should know that mesh 1, mesh 2 and mesh 3 forms the super mesh. You have to consider that while analyzing it mathematically. But if you want to simulate with Protoss, you don't have to put that into consideration. You just have to draw the circuit the exact way it is. So what I'm going to do now is to pick my component and start drawing the circuit in Protoss. This is the Protoss environment. So what I'm going to do first is to pick our component. So next is to draw the circuit. Then for the dependent current source, it depends on the current flowing through this branch. So what I'm going to do is to disconnect this wire, then I will connect the current control current source. The next component we are going to add is the current probe. But before placing the current probe, you have to assume in which direction the current is flowing, either clockwise or anticlockwise. Which either direction you choose, you must use that direction in all the mesh. In this circuit, I'm going to assume that the current is flowing in a clockwise direction. So placing the probe so you have to place it in such a way that the current is flowing in clockwise direction. 
the current probe has a directional indicator attached to it in order for you to know how the current flows so to get the current probe click on probe then current as you can see the current probe has a directional indicator attached to it to place the current probe you take the current probe to the wire we want to attach it to then you click and drop To get a current flowing in a mesh, you have to place the current probe on a wire where it's not dependent to any other mesh. For example, this wire is not dependent to any other mesh, so I can place my current probe there. Same with this, it's not dependent to any other mesh, so I can place my current probe there. If I should place my current probe in this wire or this one, I'm going to get a different answer. What you're going to get is the current difference between this mesh and this mesh so I'm going to add my current probe to other mesh so to do that you click if I should place this way this is anti-clockwise so I have to change the direction this is clockwise this is clockwise direction same with this clockwise direction okay So that is for that is for all the ground is not that important because it is mesh analysis unlike the other analysis where the ground is necessary and compulsory so what i'm going to do next is to run the simulation to see what we have okay let me rename the current so that we'll get to know which of them is i1 and i2 this is I1, this is I2, this is I3, this is I4. So I'm going to run the simulation. For I1, our result is minus 7.5, I2 is minus 2.5. I3 is 3.93 I4 is 2.14 that is the same thing we have in our text that is to tell you that our result is verified and correct 